Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. A common problem in the Windows 10 start menu in certain circumstances is the start menu showing blank tiles. So as an example, if you have pinned an app to your start menu and that tile is not displaying the icon and the name and is appearing as a blank tile, then in this video we're going to have a look at a few methods to help fix the problem and the issue of the start menu in Windows 10 showing blank tiles if you are affected. Now the first thing I would suggest if affected, like I do with a lot of um, minor computer problems, is just to restart your device. Restart your device and hopefully that can fix and should fix the issue. And if that doesn't, then another thing I would suggest you can try is just to head to your disk cleanup utility. And if you don't know where the disk cleanup is, you can just do a search for disk cleanup and just click on OK. Let that run and um, this can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes while it scans your drive and this that all just depends the time taken on the amount of files and the size of your drive and then i would suggest checking all the boxes click on ok and then follow the steps and that will clean out all the temporary and junk files from your system and once again do a system restart and if that still doesn't fix the issue then another th a method you can try is scanning your system for corrupt files using SFC scan now, which I have covered in depth on the channel, but just to, just to do a quick recap. To run SFC scan now to check and repair corrupt system files, just head to your Windows PowerShell or your Command Prompt. And if you don't know where PowerShell or Command Prompt are, just do a search and you need to run Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell, whichever command line utility you are using you need to run that as administrator. So just take note of that. Then at the prompt, enter SFC space forward slash scan now. Then hit enter and just take note though that this process can take a couple of minutes, even up to an hour in some cases, depending um, on any corrupt files found, the repairs that have to be made or the size of your drive. So SFC scan now will run and if it finds any errors it will let you know it found and repaired the errors and if it didn't find any errors or any corrupt files a message similar to this will pop up saying um, uh, Windows uh, didn't find any integrity violations or something very similar to that and if that doesn't fix the problem then something else you can try which has actually worked in my case is to delete your icon cache. Now to delete the icon cache we need to head to the file explorer Head over to your C drive or the drive that um, your operating system is installed on. And if you haven't got hidden files um, showing or enabled, just head over to view, hidden items. So it shows the hidden, hidden items on your drive. Head over to users, click on your user profile, head over to app data, which is a hidden folder. Click on local and here you'll see a little file called database file called icon cache. Now what you need to do is click on that and then delete that file, follow any and click through any um, system prompts. And then once again, once you've deleted the icon cache, then I would close File Explorer and then once again restart your device and hopefully that will fix the issue of a blank tile or blank tiles being displayed in your Windows 10 start menu. And then if that doesn't work, then something else you can try. Um, and the last method for this video is to um, repair and reset that actual app that is displaying the tile in your start menu. So as an example, um, I'm going to use my Microsoft Store. Now my Microsoft Store is not showing a blank tile, but I'm sure that by the end of the video you will get the general idea. So another thing you can try, if there is a blank tile, just right click on that app that's pinned to your start menu. Head over to More. Click on App Settings and what's this, what this is going to do, it's going to take you to the advanced settings for that actual app. And then scroll down until you see Reset. So it says, uh, if this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it, the app starter won't be affected. Click on Repair and just follow the steps, go through the prompts and that will repair that app then and then hopefully that will fix that blank tile on your Start menu. And if that doesn't work, then the final thing I would suggest and the final method is resetting that app. But just take note though, it says if this app isn't working right, reset it, but the app's data will be deleted. So just take note of that. And um, once you've reset that app, I would also suggest restarting your system and then you 
may have to log back into that app. And there's a good chance after you have followed those steps that if you had any blank tiles being displayed on your start menu for any of those apps, that that will fix the issue and address the issue of any blank tiles being displayed on your Windows 10 start menu. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.